to everyone and today uh, we will be discussing that a rotational uh, sorry bivariational Raman spectra as we have already discussed that the uh, vibrational uh, spectra so for every vibrational mode we can write the expression this e that is the energy of my uh, vibrational state z of mu is equal to omega e power of mu plus of half minus omega e power of x e of mu plus of half its square centimeter inverse where this mu is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And where, where this omega is my uh, equilibrium vibrational frequency expressed in the wave number and this x is P is my anharmonicity of the molecule. So it is a, perfectly it is a general expression where whatever the shape of the my molecule. So the general selection rules for this vibrational states delta mu is equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on. And these are the remaining the same for this if I am considering the Raman as far as the uh, infrared spectroscopy. The probability of delta nu of is equal to plus minus 2 plus minus 3 decreasing rapidly as we have already done that time as well. So in particular once I am considering that the uh, once we have the Raman spectroscopy the Raman negative mode we can apply to the energy available expressions for this expression then as I said that so if the transition is taking 0 to nu is equal to 1, so what I will get this delta nu fundamental fundamental is equal to this once you will be putting that value this this is 1 and this is 0 then omega e bar of 3 by 2 minus omega e bar of x e this is this is zero, uh, this is 1 so 3 by 2 of its square minus omega e of its 0 this is 1 upon 2 plus of omega e bar of x e this is 0 then this is 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 its square so then you have simply this is omega e from here minus omega e and this x e of 9 upon 4 minus 1 upon 4 and simply you will be getting that this omega e of 1 minus 2 of x e centimeter inverse centimeter inverse and similarly if I have now simply I am writing over here now this fundamental equal to I will be getting that is omega e bar of 1 minus 2 x e centimeter inverse and this nu is equal to 1 sorry 0 to nu is equal to 2 then this delta of nu that is overtone this 2 of omega e bar and 1 minus 3 x of e centimeter inverse and nu is equal to 1 to nu is equal to 2 that is delta of nu hot band hot band is equal to this omega e bar 1 minus 4 x e of centimeter inverse so this is my fundamental once the transition is taking from this new double prime 0 and nu is equal to 1 then you have this fundamental frequency and if nu is equal to 0 then this transition taking plus this nu is equal to 2 or nu is equal to 3 and so on these are called the overtones now the hot band is that once this new double prime this lower energy state is 1 and the transition taking place of nu is equal to 2 and nu plus equal to 3 then you have this card called the hot bands okay now since the uh, since the Raman scattered light is in any case Of the low intensity, we can ignore the completely the weaker effects. Now, what I am saying that these these overtones and the hot bands are 
having the intensity is very less so we are ignoring these terms we are discussing on the fundamental term only and it doesn't mean that this overtone and they are they are not occurring they are not but they are not providing they are not uh, producing the much intense light so they are not observed they cannot be observed but they add a little bit of the contribution on your spectra so once you are ramon is appearing then the lines are to appear at a distance from the exciting line corresponding to each section then simply this new fundamental raman is equal to new prime that is the exciting plus minus of new of delta new of new fundamental centimeter inverse now what we are getting that this is my exciting line this delta new of fundamental and the both the side of the my uh, raman spectra so this plus sign is representing for the anti stokes line and the minus sign represents for the stokes line and very few molecules are exist in the new equal to one state at a normal temperature so what will happen that the my plus sign means for to to have this new fundamental and this plus sign it means that this energy this vibrational energy state must be existing at a new equal to one then the transition from new equal to one to the new equal to one these vibrational states are getting this energy and radiating so already this state is very less and the other side you are getting very very weak signal on the other end you are getting very strong signal for the stokes line so for example and so that this raman spectrum of the molecule is then basically simple and it shows a series of reasonably intense line to the lower frequency side to of the exciting line and a much weaker and a mirror image on the other side that is the anti stokes line are very weaker one so for example if i am looking that uh, for a one molecule i am plotting this uh, these lines this top symmetric molecule chcl3 if i have this is the raman and i have this is the my ir so this is 0 500 1000 Fifteen hundred, two thousand, two thousand five hundred, and the three thousand. So, at zero, you have very broad, intense line. Then you have this kind of lines. Then at five hundred something, we have this line. Then you have here, you have a small line, and you have here a small peak. Now, if there it is a symmetric top, the Raman will be the the IR will be the, the complement. The once you will plot for this one. So you'll be finding that here almost you have a broad one that you will be getting anything over here. On the other hand, corresponding to this line, you have a huge line over here, and corresponding to this, there is no intensity. Then corresponding to this, you have this huge one, and finally, once you have corresponding to this, you have this broad one, I mean peak one, then corresponding to this one. So this is the IR spectroscopy, and this is my Raman spectroscopy. Correspond as the symmetric top molecule. So for the symmetric one, you have a Raman active one. On the other hand, you have an inactive one. So then, in this case, you have a just a reverse of you are getting this spectra. So now, as I said that, once you are dealing with the Raman spec, the vibrational Raman spectroscopy, then the Stokes line, this lower energy side, you have a very intense bands. On the other end, for the it's a mirror image. It's very. I will be getting in the mirror image and the other side of it. But these lines are these bands are very weak as the this has to be vibration state has to be in a at a room temperature very less of less populated for the new corresponding new is equal to one. So already we have done this is the vibrational and the rotation spectroscopy very uh, broadly. So then here I just have moving a bit fast in this case. Now, once I have a rotational fine structure, if I have to check the rotational fine structure, that is the what we did that is uh, vibrational rotator. So, rotational, rotational fine structure. Rotational fine structure. So, we need not to consider in detail the rotational fine structure of the Raman spectra in general. If only because such fine structure are really resolved because within your vibrational spectra you need to check your vibrational states 
Barbison lines. Except for the diatomic molecule, it's always difficult to resolve this fine structure in the uh, Raman spectroscopy. So now we have this energy E in the case of this E of this nu of Z is equal to omega E half of nu plus of half minus omega E x E nu plus of half its e square plus B j of j plus 1 of centimeter inverse where nu is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So that is the new fundamental nu 0 just to have to represent this nu 0 is equal to we have this omega e bar 1 minus 2 x of e and this O and Q and S refers for the O branch. O branch, it means that this delta Z is equal to minus 2. And for the Q branch, delta Z is equal to 0. And S branch, delta Z is equal to plus of 2. If you remember in the previous class, last to last class, we have discussed the rotational Raman spectra. Then we said that the delta z is equal to plus minus 2 because your dipole moment that is the transitions for the delta z is equal to plus minus 2 or delta z is equal to 0 only these are the allowed and the polarity is changing. Now once this rotational state is gaining the energy then it is then you have this plus 2 right then it is a minus 2 once it is giving to the energy to the uh, scattered photon then you have this delta z is equal to minus 2. So I am representing now once you have these are uh, these selection rules for this uh, fine structures. So delta z is equal to 0, it means that this delta of E of Q or the delta nu of Q, nu of Q vibration is equal to just nu of fundamental centimeter inverse for all z, for all z delta z is equal to plus of 2 then delta of nu of s branch this is nu of 0 fundamental plus of b for j plus of 6 where z is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 and so on and delta z is equal to minus 2 delta nu of o is equal to nu fundamental minus of b of 4z plus of 6 and z is equal to 2, 3, 4 and 6 because for this transition you must have the value of j is equal to at least 2 that is lower energy state. So these are the q branch lines, these are the s branch lines and these are the O branch lines. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Now the now these are the different lines corresponding to the Z. So Stokes lines to the low frequency of the exciting radiation will be occur the wave number given by this fundamental this mu of Q is equal to what will this nu of exciting nu prime minus delta of nu of q is equal to this nu prime minus of nu fundamental nu naught centimeter inverse and nu of o is equal to nu prime exciting line minus of delta e of delta nu of o is equal to this you have nu exciting minus new fundamental plus of b of 4j plus of 6 centimeter inverse where j is equal to 2 3 4 and so on and new of s branch is equal to new exciting minus of delta of um, delta of es new of s is equal to new exciting minus of new naught minus of b 4j plus of 6 centimeter inverse.
where this j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So once I will plot this spectra, once I will be plotting this spectra, so only one side I am representing, you have this new exciting, both the side you have a pure rotation one, pure rotation one. Then you have a one line over here that is the new Q that is a fundamental line new Q and the both the side of this you have a new O and a new S then again you have so this branch is minus 2 this is new of S and this is new of O. So this is positive, this new O is a positive of this and this is the minus of this one. And this distance is simply this new of fundamental. This new of fundamental is by new of Q, where this delta Z is equal to 0 and delta Z is equal to delta Z is equal to plus 2 and this delta Z is equal to minus 2. So at the vicinity of the there is an exciting line you have a pure rotational one here you have a within this within this vibrational band you have these rotational fine structures but in general it's a very difficult to resolve this one and these are the if i will take it's a mirror image of it that is the anti stokes uh, is for fine structure but this intensity is very very less and more generally that apart from the diatomic molecule it's very difficult to resolve these lines you need to now once you understand this Raman spectra, this rotation spectra and the vibration spectra, but only in in the Raman spectra you need to understand just that you have an additional exciting line and this is a Raman shift corresponding to your fundamental frequency. This is the additional lines. Otherwise, the things are the same as what we have discussed as a rotational Raman is uh, uh, rotational vibrator. So. And uh, as for the, as I said, for the light molecules and a diatomic molecule, it is easier to resolve it, and you can find out their uh, constant value of V, then you can find out their moment of inertia and the bond length, and etc. On the other hand, you, once you have a, these are the heavier molecules, and it's very difficult to resolve these uh, these uh, terms, and it is really very tough to find out their value of V from the rotational fine structure. From the rotational fine structure, you can get a very good peaks or good bands of the vibrational one, but it's very difficult to find out the, it's a rotational fine structure. So, this is all about the uh, Raman fine structure, that is the rotational vibrator, uh, rota uh, vibrational rotator as a Raman. In a Raman. Now, how we can find out, so as I said in the previous class as well, so now how these can find out the structure of the molecule with the help of the my uh, Raman spectroscopy, IR spectroscopy, right? So as I said that it, in conjunction of the both the one, you can find out their structures. So for the center of symmetry, you have the Raman, but you have an inactive of the um, IR spectroscopy. So you can find out the if we are getting that the if there is a small little bit of the symmetry, then you have a very weak Raman spectroscope. Then you can say that is a asymmetric molecule. So from here, uh, now once you are dealing that the to, to find out the structure of the molecules, then it is important to that the IR spectroscopy as well as the your Raman spectroscopy. So I am stopping here today, uh, here itself. So tomorrow I will be discussing about the how to, uh, this is the structure determination from the Raman and the infrared spectroscopy. Some general uh, considerations, general ideas that what we have done in the symmetry of the molecule, when they are this, when there is a center of symmetry, how this Raman, Raman is active and this IR is inactive with the help of this one. And we'll find out some of the common molecules for this called uh, this pyramidal or the top symmetry molecules. We'll be finding out the uh, structure. 
so tomorrow i'll be um, uh, con uh, discuss this one and uh, hopefully then tomorrow i will be closing and this unit that is the raman spectroscopy then we'll jump to the our electronic spectra thank you